All right, Something we're back. Interest you. <laughs> Come over here to the shop. A selection of good things on sale, stranger. All right, awesome. So yeah, basically I went and saved, and then I went around the house, and we went right into that like cutscene, seeing that guy. So I just hit record as soon as we did that, so you guys wouldn't miss it. But yeah, I guess selection of good things on sale. You know if you know a stranger. Don't know if you know me, stranger. But did you see the blue medallions hanging? <coughs> oh my god, my throat, I'm gonna die. I can't do it. But did you see the blue medallions hanging around in the village? Come back if, after you've shot ten or more of them. I've got a specialized gun I want you to try out. Maybe I should have uh, stuck around and done that. That would have been nice. <clears throat> I'm totally gonna lose my voice because of trying to use his uh, voice. Alright, tune up or buy? Let's look at what tune up real quick. Buying? Handgun, shotgun, rifle that I don't have yet. God, look at all that money I've got already. It's crazy. The shotgun's quite nice. Uh, firing speed, capacity, reload speed, firepower. I don't really know of what I'd need to upgrade right now. What Maybe, like, if I wanted to do handgun power up. But, Rio, am I... Is it too late for me to go and do that medallion thing? Or am I possibly going to be, like, back in that area later? Because I know that we, like, passed out and now, or we got, like, knocked out, and now we've come back, like, over in this area. So I don't know if we're going to connect back or not. We'll see. But I feel like I shouldn't upgrade anything yet. What are you I don't buying? know. Attaché case. A medium-sized case. So does this, like, increase my uh, inventory space, I think? Map that shows locations of valuable treasures in the village area? I don't think I need a map that shows that stuff. A rifle? I feel like we would probably get... You're still doing the medallion thing? Okay. I feel like we would probably get a rifle on our own, but I have no idea. Maybe we do have to buy them here in order to use them. I'm not really sure. First aid spray. Why is it X'd out? Is that because it won't fit in my inventory or something? Or he just doesn't have it in stock? I have no idea. I feel like it makes sense for me to get the larger inventory, though. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Other than that, uh, haven't even gotten to the graveyard yet. Okay. Why is to not upgrade everything as soon as you can? Yeah, because I don't have any problems yet, and I normally prefer when it comes to upgrades to upgrade the things that I have trouble in that area. Like, let's say I find that my pistol just isn't cutting it then maybe get some more damage on it so it can kill enemies a little bit faster. But right now I think it's just way too early to just start upgrading something, because who knows if I'm going to find out that it's just really not useful or something. Who knows? But you cannot buy a first aid spray if you already have one on you. Oh, okay. Interesting. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to buy any other weapons yet. I'll save my money for now, because... I don't know, it just makes sense to me. Should I be selling those spinners? Let me see. What do you buy? What, are you, what are you selling? I'll hold on to the grenades, because I feel like if I just choose the right time to use them, then that can be really good. Spindle. Although small in size appears to have some value. So yeah, maybe that is what these are for. Uh, that's not taking up inventory space for me, though, right? Inventory is only, like, uh, health, medicine, and uh, weapons, I'm pretty sure. I'll check. But I think for now I'm just going to stick to this. Yeah, I don't see the spindles in here. So, I'll hold on to them for now as well. I don't see a reason to, like, rush selling them right now. But, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start going. Uh, this is the first aid spray, right? Let me look at the information. Completely restores health. Okay, and then this over here is significantly restores health? Make sure, yes. Oh, wait, no, it says completely restores health. Okay, so that's sort of like that one. Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't do anything right now. We should leave my health where it is because I can take more hits before dying, so I don't want to waste some of my stuff. Maybe I'll get an herb from these and I can increase maximum health. Not the one I was looking for, but that's okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back towards that gate that I need to go through now. Spindles indeed have no practical use. Okay. Yeah, my understanding is, like, when you die, you go back to the save point or whatever, or just, like, restart at the beginning of the place that you're in. So, 
I mean, I'm pretty sure that that means I wouldn't be losing money or anything like that when I die. So, I could have just sold the spindles, I think. I don't think it really matters when I sell them. Unless I have, like, a max number I can have on me at once. But I think we're good. Let's go ahead and do this. It won't open. It looks like something fits inside these hexagonal indentation. Alright. Yes, I think so. Use. Oh, wait, no. Combine. With that one. And then... Examine. Hexagonal object with unique insignia engraved in it. It opens the gate in the valley. Alright, use it. You use the hexagonal emblem. Open. This is your first Resident Evil where you don't go right back to your last save when you died. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it kind of surprised me when I spawned at the beginning of the level that one time. I was expecting to get sent back to the save point. I don't want to be missing something, so... I feel like it's smart to look up at things every now and then. Is there something I can break? No, probably not. No enemies around here? Shotgun shells? Alright, let's look over here. Okay, it's just stuff to break. More handgun ammo. Looks like I can't do anything with these, so I'll turn around. And check over here, then we'll open the door. Alright, it looks like uh, we're good, so let's open this door. Open. There's an item over there. There doesn't seem to be anyone in here right now. That door seems like it's the way to go, so I'm guessing this room over here is like a- Oh wait, we can't get there from here, can we? So it's showing us an item that we want to get, but we can't get yet. Alright, so there's a thing over there, right there. I'll have to remember that that's there. Hopefully I don't forget and like move on without it. Alright, let's open this door. Over here. Yep, someone's here. Dang. I really want to get to where I can shoot them, like, while they're flailing around instead of having to wait. But... Okay, nice, nice. Right, shoot him in the arm so he drops it. I want to get my shotgun out now. Quit. Nice. Don't grab me, dude. Don't be that guy. Alright, get the pistol out again. I want to get quick at switching so it's not too bothersome for the guys to watch. Alright, that works. Make him drop it. Does he have infinite number on his back? He might. So I'm just gonna, yeah, awesome. Okay. And pick this up over here. Start moving. I don't see the other people yet, but the music definitely, was that a gunshot? I think I just heard a gunshot. Do I have everything? It looks like it. Okay. So, break into this one now. Nice. Oh my god, nope. I don't know how I'm alive, but... I feel like... Uh, I feel like I should let myself die since I got messed up by that, but... I'm just gonna do this, and I'm gonna try to get my gun out and shoot as quickly as I can. A grenade might be a good idea, but... I'm just going to uh, try to get a shot on those explosives. Who's still alive? Someone's still alive, I know they are. Who's alive? Maybe it's only people that are like in a different area right now. Or not really a different area, but not right here. Can I jump over this? Because there's a whole bunch of bad things around here. Am I not able to jump over it? 
But what about these things? Okay, there we go, got it. Whoa, right when I jumped over, we caught a guy. Shotgun time. Correct. Pick up everything we can before other people show up. I'm guessing someone else is gonna come through that door. Yep. Do it, dude. Do it. Okay, here we go. Surprise. I think I- I think that's it. I think we're good. Dude, what is the deal with all of these things everywhere? Like, with the control scheme the way it is, even knowing that they're there, I'm probably gonna run into some of them. Alright. Cut this, hope for an herb, not an herb. It's all good. Open. Spinel. Good thing, uh, I didn't burn my hand. Kind of expecting it would be too hot. Alright. Handgun ammo in the fire. Not gonna question it. Perfectly fine with, uh, being safe and pulling that out and using it in my gun instead. Alright, let's open this door and see what's on the other side. Hey, Icarus, how's it going? Didn't drop anything. There aren't any, like, water creatures we have to deal with, right? I always hate water enemies. I think everyone does. Nice! Okay, we can increase our max health. Let's do it! Combine with this. And then... I think we need- we should wait to use it, I think, because I think it heals you at least to some degree, maybe all the way. So I think it would make sense to uh, wait for right now, not use it yet, and then use it when I actually need to be healed, and that way we can heal and increase our max health. I'd say that sounds like a good idea. Can we get a save point? How's my- let's reload this real quick. Just want to make sure that I'm ready. They like to throw enemies at me like crazy, so I should always be prepared. Really enjoying this game so far. Yeah, now you don't have your weapon. Can't pick it up, can you? Just disappeared. I don't see anyone else immediately. Oh wait, the music stopped, okay. Was he the only guy right there? I'm not complaining. There's a way down and a way up. Question is, let's go down. Wow, how is that not painful? Nice items, okay. I wanna say I remember something about shooting fish. Nice! I was right. That might be the only one, I have no idea. Black bass large? Awesome. Okay, uh... So I can set it down here, right? And then come over here and arrange stuff? Alright, um... How do I move some- oh, backspace to move, okay. Alright, just gonna really quickly sort a couple of things. I'll do more of this off camera, so what I'm doing now is just uh, real quick to get a free space for this uh, bass. Is this going to be like something I sell, or what's the point of this bass? Yeah, I'll organize my inventory all nice and stuff soon. Oh, we need more space. It's quite a large bass. I really need to use these grenades. I need to remember when it's the right time to do it. Uh, 
There we go. Alright. Bring handgun ammo in the fire of Spanish tradition. Oh god. Bring you good fortune. Should I shoot more? Or is that the only one? These don't have, like, the thing on them when I aim at them. The other one did. So I feel like that means that the other one would be the only one. Yeah, I think it's only the other one. Alright, let's head up. All about that bass. Alright, let's go. I think I hear a wolf or something. Alright, there's something over here. I'm gonna start by shooting those birds. Should I shoot the wire? No, I think I should shoot that thing. That was like as close as I could have gotten and still missed. Man, all these birds carrying coins on them. I heard that birds loved shiny stuff, but... I need to be careful about these bear traps. They're literally just all over. It almost looks like I can't even get around them. Alright, let's uh, deal with this again. Same situation, just shoot that. Shoot that. Thank you. Got the brass pocket watch. I don't know what that's used for, but I mean, hey, we got it. Stinks here too. Okay. And let's go in here. I'm guessing there's gonna be a save point over here. If not here, then it should be like up ahead. There's a save point for you inside this box. Maybe not. Alright, so. What the heck? How do I go around these? Do I have to shoot them and make them go off? Alright, yeah, that's what I'll do for that one. We'll just go through here. Huh. Alright. Seems a little bit too calm. Right, let's go up. Wait, was that nothing there? Okay. Ooh. This looks ominous. What's this about? It's a large crystal ball. It looks like it rotates. Which way will you turn it? I don't know. Which way am I supposed to turn it? Uh, I don't think I've seen anything that would give me some information on this. Alright, let's try this. Okay, now it changed the symbol. Should I get it to look like those two things that I see over there then? I think that's what it is. Easy. Something activated. What's that painting again? Is that a typewriter? That's not a typewriter. I don't know if it's going to trigger something when I get that, so I'm going to try looking around first. Open this. Get some coins. Thank you. Got some more petas. What's this over here? Chief's note. As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confine them together as has been ordered. I didn't expect Louise would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could be a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving his, us vulnerable so that this third party will surface, if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already amongst us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk, if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment as always. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and grab this, whatever it is. A key. You got the insignia key. Can't jump through this one. That mean. 
something. Uh oh. I haven't gotten a save though. Hey, for fun, how's it going? Oh my god, it's him! And he, that's a painting of him too, isn't it? Oh my god, dude. I believe in you, Le My eyes. Is that because of what they injected in me? You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. consequences. Alright, dude. You weirdo. What? Did he choke me just same so that... Blood. I think he said same blood. Oh, it's the end of that part of the chapter, too. Okay. 79% hit ratio, 50 enemies killed. Total 79. And number of times killed, once. To equal two. I died from the, uh... What did I die from? I died out on the walkway area, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's why I died. Uh, kick him, stop letting yourself get cho choked, the main character is a dumb butt. Yeah, Leon gets surprised pretty easily. I mean, like, not super easily, but I was expecting Leon to just be made out to seem like this really, like, strong character who's, like, all cool and doesn't do anything wrong sort of a thing, but they make him seem very human, which I'd say is a good thing. But yeah, we're going to stop it here. We're at a little over 20 minutes, so I'm going to pause the video. We'll be back in a moment, and we will be continuing the story in Resident Evil 4. Have a wonderful day, all of my yawns out there. And don't forget to feed your pets.